everyone. I'm going to show you how to make a pizza in Tinkercad today. We're going to make the crust and the cheese, and then we'll add some toppings. And then why don't you see how creative you can be and see what other toppings you can add to your pizza. The first thing we're going to do is make the crust. So we're going to choose the torus shape, drag it out there, and just make it as large as you'd like your pizza to be. So I'm going to drag it out to make it a kind of a bigger shape here. And then change the color of it to be a crust color. The next thing we're going to add is some tomato sauce. So I'm going to choose the half sphere. I'm going to drag it out and make it larger again. I'm also going to make it a little bit shorter because we know the half sphere is taller. Right now it's 10 millimeters. I'll probably put it down to about maybe 3 millimeters tall. And then lift it above the torus. And then I'll just keep dragging it out until it's about the shape that I want it. And then I'll change the color so I have a color of tomato sauce. I'm going to do the same exact thing for the cheese. I'm actually just going to duplicate this shape, make it a little bit smaller for the cheese, and change the color of it. So I'm going to go up here to duplicate. Change this color to a little bit of a burn color and then change the size of it. I might lift, lift up a little bit there. Um, and change the size of it. So just kind of the edges of the sauce are peeking out over it there. Yeah. Now I'm going to work on the toppings. So I have my toppings over here that I'm going to show you how to make. The first topping I'm going to show you how to make is pepperoni. So for the pepperoni, you can choose the cylinder shape, drag it out, change the color of it to a pepperoni color. And the first thing you want to do is change the height. Right now it's 20 millimeters. I'm going to lower that to about three or four millimeters tall. If you want to make your pepperoni bigger or smaller, you can change the size of it as well. Um, and then drag it onto your pizza. I'm going to drag it on and lift it on top. That size looks pretty good to me. Maybe I'll make it a little bit smaller. And when you have it the size that you like it, you can duplicate and make as many pieces of pepperoni as you'd like. So I'm going to click on it, and then I'll duplicate it about five times. And then just drag off your other pieces here. The next shape I'm going to show you. The next topping is going to be the green pepper. So to make the green pepper, you're going to choose the ring shape. Drag this out. Change the color of it so it's a green pepper. And for this shape, we're going to cut off about half of that ring. So the way we cut off part of the shape is we go up to the transparent box. And we're going to lift the box and put it over half of the ring. So I'm going to drag it so I can see. If you look, you can see a little bit of a shade in there. That way you know it's covering up the ring. You want it to be covering up. It doesn't have to be exact, but about half of the ring. I can look at it from different angles if I want to make sure that it's over the entire ring and make sure I don't have to move it at all. And when I'm happy with that, I'm going to select both of those shapes to select it. I click my mouse and I just drag to add this box. I want to make sure my box only goes over the shapes that I want to select, so I don't want it to go over the pizza or anything else. When I've selected those two shapes, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to group them together. So I click the group button. That will make a green pepper shape. It just cut off half of my ring. This is the only part that's visible now. The other part's invisible. So I can drag my pepper onto the pizza. Lift it up. I need, might need to make it a little bit shorter. It's really tall. There we go. And then I can duplicate it and add as many pieces of pepperoni as I want. Come up here to the duplicate button. I can also choose to rotate my shapes a little bit if I don't want them all facing the same way. I can rotate it around. I can change the size of it so they don't look too uniform, whatever you want to do. The next shape I'm going to show you how to make is the sausage. 
For the sausage, I just went down here and chose the shape. <laughs> change the color of it to a little bit of a sausage color and then just played around with the size till it was a height and a size that I had liked for a piece of sausage and added it to my pizza. Once you're happy with the way that looks on your pizza, go ahead and duplicate it and add as many pieces of sausage as you would like. Lastly, I'm going to show you how to make the pineapple. You're going to use the pyramid shape for the pineapple, and you want to make the, it a little bit longer and a little bit skinnier. So you're going to play around with the shape till it's whatever you like. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then we're going to rotate it so it's laying flat on our work plane. So let's see. I'm not sure if it's... There we go, rotate 90 degrees that way. Now it's lying flat. And just like we did with the green pepper, we're gonna come up here to the transparent box and we're gonna drop off the top of our pyramid so it looks a little bit more like a piece of pineapple. So you wanna just layer it in here. So about the first third of your pyramid is inside of the box. I can see that it's inside because I see that shading on the yellow. And when I'm happy with that, I'm gonna select both of those shapes together and group them, and I have my piece of pineapple. You wanna make it, maybe I'll make it a little bit shorter, play around with it, see what you wanna do, and then add your pineapple to your pizza. Over here, I've made a mushroom out of a cylinder and a half sphere, and I cut that in half as well with the box. What other shapes can you make? What other toppings can you add to your pizza? I can't wait to see.